All right, this is practice problem 3.18. Calculate the mass of carbon dioxide produced when one gram of C4H10 is burned. Note the reaction produces order vapor. Okay, so we know that it says burned, right? And so for um, that basically just means that it's combustion, right? So we can write out the combustion reaction where we have C4H10, right? And this is a liquid, and we're reacting that with oxygen as a gas and that's going to produce carbon dioxide gas plus H2O as a gas All right. and so um, we would want to go through and balance this equation okay? and what you should end up getting is you have two moles of C4H10 okay? you should have 13 moles of oxygen you have 8 for carbon dioxide and 10 for H2O. <clears throat> Alright, so after the equation is balanced, now we can just go through and say, okay, well, we're given grams of C4H10, okay, and we're basically going to um, convert that to moles of C4H10. Right, because we're trying to figure out um, the mass of carbon dioxide, which means we can compare moles of CH4 at 10 to moles of CO2, which then we can convert to grams of CO2. And so that's our strategy. And so we're starting off with um, 1.00 grams. Okay, so we have uh, 1.00 grams of C4H10. Okay. And so we can convert that to moles by taking in one mole of C4H10. We have a total of 58.0 grams of C4H10. Okay, so that's going to cancel our grams. Now we can go from moles of C4H10, which we have two moles C4H10. Okay, and so we get that from the stoichiometry, right? We have eight moles of carbon dioxide, so we have eight moles of CO2. So our moles of C4H10 cancel, and then we're left with moles of carbon dioxide, which we can convert to the grams of carbon dioxide. So in one mole of CO2, we have 44.0 grams of CO2. Okay, and so then those moles are going to cancel, and we're left with grams of carbon dioxide, and so what we have is 3.03 .03 grams of CO2. So if you had trouble in this problem, it's probably balancing the equation. Um, once again, that's just practice, um, and you actually end up getting a 13 halves for oxygen, but you go through and multiply by 2, and so that's how you end up getting these final values. Okay.